Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users. So guys, for today we shall look at checkbox uh, list, okay? Checkbox list control uh, in SP.NET, actually SP.NET Web Forms C Sharp, okay? Now we shall see how to uh, use it, how to select items uh, from a checkbox list control and then select uh, on a button click maybe display those items in a label this is what i'm talking about for instance i check algeria uh, cambodia and ethiopia and then if i click choose no take note that uh, you can see it right here down here inside here we can we have algeria cambodia and ethiopia if maybe i remove uh, cambodia then click choose then you can see now we are remaining with Algeria and Ethiopia okay if I come for instance choose Brazil and DR Congo then I choose now you can see right here so we're going to see how to use the checkbox list control and how to uh, select items loop through items and select only the selected items so guys welcome we get started at the very first thing please I require you to create your project now visual c sharp uh, sp.net web form site then type the name right there then click ok ok it shall generate for you a sample project here with this template now please just uh, remove some of those div tags some of those content just delete them select uh, just just select like this way then you click delete and then it deletes everything once you've done so then come to your toolbox and then uh, just add the checkbox list you can see right here add this control uh, to one of your uh, div tags right there now you can see once you've added it then uh, you shall see the smart tag here just click the smart tag then edit items then add those particular items now you can see for instance my text property is Algeria my value is Algeria okay so text property is what shall be seen but value is the value of that particular object uh, checkbook list object okay so that's it now it's the value that we shall be uh, getting and then displaying so uh, then add them then click ok once you've done so now also just below here you can add a simple label just double click a label right there then it shall get added and then uh, just down here you can add a button main of called uh, choose button so once we've added it double click our button it shall bring us to this particular uh, choose button click so uh, right here we're going to do everything right here because this is a very simple tutorial okay now the first thing that we're going to do is that uh, we're going to uh, define a string I'll call it selected now this item shall this string it shall contain a uh, our selected items okay we're just going to initialize it right there then we shall using for each loop now inside our for each loop we shall be uh, list item we're going to be looping through our checkbox so list item item remember a checkbox list is simply made up of uh, checkable list items so check uh, for each list item in no checkbook list okay checkbook list one dot items this one shall bring us the collection of the items those are the items that you shall be looping through now if you want to uh, get selected item in fact let me just uh, comment string to hold a selected items a loop through all items then right here select uh, item okay now uh, the selected item we shall now uh, select item right there so what we're going to do if actually uh, let me just say check selected item I think that's a better English check selected items and add them to string I think that's uh, more understandable so what we're going to do right here if item 
uh, dot selected okay if item dot selected then uh, of course we just come right here and add it to our string string plus equal to then uh, we're going to add that particular item uh, we shall be adding its value item dot value and then for me I shall also just want to add that one and also some space okay this one shall separate the items then some space and then of course uh, that way so that we can be uh, able to see those particular items once we've added them it's just that simple then the next thing is just to come uh, right here and add them to our label now selected label that is how my uh, my label was called selected label dot text equal to uh, selected and that's the no 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 equal to selected so that's it uh, that's how we choose actually the most important thing is right here is that you know a checkbook list consists of list items so that they are checkable okay now because they are checkable we can check if an item is selected by just checking if item dot selected uh, now this one contains an enum we check uh, for the selected item then if it is selected then we add it to uh, this particular string right here item we add the value of that particular item then i just add this one to separate them then this is a string we can simply display it inside our selected label and that's it we run our project uh, and have a look it's just that simple and actually here is our project now if i come select algeria brazil and cambodia uh, i come choose then you can see uh, right here it reloads now take note that the reason why it's reloading is because the this is speed of net controls are being executed at the server now and now you can see here we have all our items if i remove brazil uh, now you can see we have algeria and cambodia right there so guys that's it uh, we can in fact if we select all of them and ch uh, click choose uh, you can see right here that we've Algeria, Brazil, Cambodia and Ethiopia. So that's it guys. Hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please if you have, would really like to hear from you guys, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Share this video uh, with friends, family and everybody. And please subscribe so that you continue uh, receiving tutorial like this ones on a regular basis. Take care. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.